uh, want to congratulate North Carolina, uh, truly one of the outstanding teams in the country. Uh, I think they showed that with their size and athleticism and really proud of my team. Thought we battled, um, got down 10 early, got a six point lead. I uh, thought the end of the half was really critical. They hit us with a 14-1 run there to finish to close the half to get a seven point lead. Um, they pushed it up to 20. We never stopped fighting. Uh, made another run and you know, really encouraged by what I saw with my team. Uh, certainly we can play better um, and we will, but uh, I'm excited about where we're headed and uh, we, it starts tomorrow. We got to bounce back quickly and, and uh, we'll play a determined Missouri team uh, in the first game. Questions? Yeah, I mean, we, we have fighters. You know, I, I love the guys in our locker room. We, we're not going to quit. We're going to keep coming at you. Um, doesn't mean you're going to win every night. But if you do that, you're going to put yourself in a position to win a lot of games. And I told the guys in the locker room, you know, my main takeaway from playing this team the way we did was I really feel we can have a good team. And that's what you learn about November games. You know, you play in these neutral environments against great teams and you find out what you got. And I found out a lot of good things about my team. I got fighters. Um, I got guys that are determined to, to win. And I thought there were a lot of positive signs. And give North Carolina credit. I, I didn't think we lost the game. They beat us. And that happens sometimes. And um, you know, now playing Missouri tomorrow, uh, these tournaments are, are difficult at times because you have to switch gears. And we got to get back. We got to forget about this game tonight. We got to, you know, get a shower, get something to eat, and start talking about Missouri. Both of us are coming off losses, so you'll have two teams determined to try to get out of here with a win before we go back home. Trey, you came in in the second half, and you just looked more determined just starting off hot. Was that something you looked to do? Was that something that was presented to you and you decided to take that opportunity? I think a lot of times the kind of the rhythm of the game especially playing against really good teams with really good defenders is, you know, they try to take away, you know, the primary uh, offensive guy. And I think that opens up every stuff for every, everybody else. And, uh, you know, guys were hitting shots and making plays. And I think, um, I think that just kind of opened up things for me in the second half. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah. I mean, we, we told our guys, I mean, uh, I have we all have amazing respect uh, for coach Williams and his program and, and North Carolina, but you know, to us that they're, they're going to be similar to what we're going to face in our league. Um, you know, really the ACC and the big 10 are the two best leagues in the country. And, um, you know, for us, this was like a Big Ten game in November. So it's a, it's a great game to play if you learn from it and you get better from it and their size. Um, you know, their ability, what they did, what they did. They they matched us on the boards. Thought we did a really good job on the initial defense. We wanted them to shoot jumpers. They were seven for 24 from three. We did a good job of that. It's just I thought Jackson's activity along the baseline, his cutting, his offensive rebounds was the difference in the game. Any other questions? All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. See you tomorrow.